and um, but uh, you know they're still going on. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you very much indeed, Ian. Final call is Good Phil, evening. who's in Swansea. What would you like to say, Phil? <laughs> oh, hello there. Uh, yeah, thanks for um, for the airtime. That's all right. I'm sorry, um, we've only got about 45 minutes of it. 45 so, yeah, seconds, rather. Question, well, a question occurred to me. Yeah. If you've got a drive-through, actually the last speaker might have partially answered this, but I, I, know, I confess I wasn't paying full attention. Um, if you've got a drive-through scenario where you can di diagnose whether pe people have got this disease or not, why do other people have to wait 14 days in quarantine? Why can't they just, you know... I, do you know what? You're asking... You're, uh, yeah, yeah, I totally understand. There's loads of questions here that, that I would ask and I ha that I'm, but again I'm unable to answer that Phil all I know is central London tomorrow I don't even know where it is I'm not going to go but you can get tested if you're worried as I say it, it, the worry would be if suddenly people started being tested positive for this virus in random places around the country then I'd start to, to, to seriously get worried but the moment you know four more people who were on that ship it doesn't surprise me there'll probably be more Thank you very much uh, for listening. I shall be on LBC News, our sister station, 4 till 7 for the next three days. Coming up next, Clive Ball.